evening, folks. I give you Keith Olbermann. The guy who's literally deranged... A very far deranged leftist who literally contradicts his own words and a second statement. And the second statement after doing all this. I mean, I could play... I don't know how you want to hear it, if you want to hear the first time first, or how you want to hear it. I mean, his first statement, he pretty much will said that all states, the red states should pretty much will, actually, I actually don't have the, have it, so I recorded it. From twi from his Twitter account, so you can actually hear it for your own ears, and you'll actually get to understand what I mean by both of them. I mean, he pretty much will criticize Marjorie Taylor Greene for pretty much all everything that he says, but he calls her Marjorie Trader Green. But you'll see what I mean. Here's the first one. Take a listen. stupid enough to demand a national divorce of the red states from the blue states while she is living in a blue state. But what do you expect? She was raised on a diet of Fox News. And now that Fox's true evil has been revealed in the Dominion lawsuit, and Fox's true evil has been revealed while Kevin McCarthy has turned over 41,000 hours of January 6th surveillance video to Tucker Carlson exclusively so he can show the next insurrectionists how to avoid all those cameras and reach all those panic rooms. The time has now come. We must deplatform Fox News and we must close down. Fox News. All that and more in the Tuesday Countdown podcast available now wherever you podcast. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but this guy cracks me up. I mean, as much as I, that is much deranged, but I mean, you think that's funny? This is where he contradicts himself. Listen to this one. We are owned by guns. And therefore, there is only one way to stop the mass shootings. It is to suffocate the businesses that make billions of dollars in profits off guns. To destroy the gun lobby, the death lobby, and the Republican Party that defends those lobbies and those businesses. And the only way to do that is an economic civil war. The blue states have all the money. They must starve the red states into submission. Or another 600,000 Americans will be murdered in the next 10 to 12 years. That and more in the Wednesday Countdown podcast, available now wherever you podcast. So, let's contradict, let's go after him, why don't we? I want everyone who listened to that, tell me what you think, comment down below on what you think of him. Pretty much will contradict everything he just said. That was days prior to Marjorie Taylor Greene saying what she was saying. The second one was that I played for you. Now, to contradict everything he just said, I mean, Keith Olbermann is literally just a deranged lunatic, left-wing lunatic. I mean, you got a lot of deranged left-wing lunatics out there. I mean, far left-wing lunatics, let me be precise. I mean, he literally wants everyone who voted for Donald Trump to be arrested. That was his first one. That was his first decision. Anyone who voted for Donald Trump, they all need to go to jail. <laughs> that was his first thought. Now that that's not worked, he wants everyone... Now he wants an economic civil war. Where... Literally, that's calling a secession. Which is pretty much what Marjorie Taylor Greene was echoing, but in a different format. Where... She was echoing it the way where red states will have the freedom to do whatever they want. They can say whatever they want. They can have fun any way they want. While the blue states, they can say all the wokeness and do everything they darn well wish they can. That's literally what she was saying. You blue states do what you want. Us red states will do what we want. 
without any consequences. Red states and blue states. And the Democrat states, which are blue states, will do that. I mean, it's common sense 101. I mean, Keith Olbermann pretty much will hurt his whole entire words there. I mean, that is the most... It's almost like saying, you don't vote... For, it's almost like Joe Biden saying, you don't vote for me, you ain't black. And another in, individual pretty much will echoing that kind of statement out in uh, Chicago. And she's trailing right now. She's saying, you don't vote for me, you should stay inside your house and don't vote at all if you don't want to vote for me. That's Lori Lightfoot. Lori Lightfoot is pretty much all saying that. I mean, that there is voter suppression. And this is what the Democrats are doing. He's a communist piece of garbage. That's what these com- left-wing communist Democrats want. They want to they wanna shut you down so you cannot have a voice. I mean, this is absolutely hilarious. Can these idiots hear what they're saying to them? Do these idiots hear what they're saying to themselves? And to literally every Republican and Democrat out there? This is hilarious. I can literally just fall over laughing my brains out at them. I mean, I could go on and on and literally sit down and have a debate with Keith Olbermann if I wanted to. He'd probably kick me out because I don't agree with his politics. That's literally what this would come down to. But Keith Olbermann, you just ain't my type. Obviously, anyone who has a podcast, you can always answer on his podcast. So, I suggest you go to his podcast and actually go after him. Make him famous. I mean, he hasn't been relevant for a while. Ever since he's been fired, he hasn't been relevant. Now he's just trying to make himself relevant again. So, now's your time to actually make him look stupid. So take the say so take this video, share it with him, and embarrass him. Well actually it's on Twitter, so you can take it from his Twitter account if you know how to do it on Twitter. Go to Twitter, take it, and embarrass him. It's that simple. I mean the Democrats literally just dig themselves holes they don't know how to get out of. Once the evidence is right out there in the open, they don't know how to get out of it. And if you don't know, if you're an old school like me, record them. Record both statements that they did before. Record the first one, like he did. And then record the second one. Both times like him. And say, oh, remember that time when he says... Oh. <coughs> <coughs> like I said the one time do it both times cause I'm telling you it's gonna hit him like a train she lost the su- well of course her side lost the civil war cause she lives down in Georgia but heck with that being said, but even though Georgia was only a one-time blue state, it's not like all states are going to switch. I mean, hell, heck, Georgia, Florida, Georgia, I think Georgia will switch back to uh, to uh, red. I think that was only a one-time thing. Now, if you want to talk about all diehard blue states, you want to look at that's part you want to probably look at California, Oregon, Washington, maybe Nevada, maybe. I'm not really sure, but Nevada, maybe. Um, it might be leaning a little more red, maybe. New York, pretty much all the northeast, all the northeastern states. Um, maybe Virginia, I'm not sure. It has, it's been a while since a Republican has ever won Virginia. Um... Not sure about Pennsylvania, Michigan, or Wisconsin. I mean, they last time a Republican won there was in 88, but then they switched. When Trump won, that was the first time a Republican ever won there since 88. 
Minnesota. Last time Republican ever won there was in 68. Oh, no one's won, a Republican hasn't won since then. And then you have, um, what's other state? Illinois. And 88 was the last time a Republican has ever won that state. And it doesn't seem like that's even possible anymore today. And New York. Last time a Republican ever won that state was in 84. So, pretty much the year I was born, which is 39 years ago. The last time a Republican ever won that state. <laughs> so, if we're ever going to win this win, we got to campaign in those states. Like I said the, the other day. We got to campaign in those states. But... If you really want to, if you really like to embarrass these clowns, record the videos, share it on Twitter or YouTube or however you like to do it, and just make them look like fools. That's what I love doing. And this is a perfect example of a clown who just wants, who just acted like, who acts like he didn't say any of that, but in reality he did. He just wants to pretend like he never said, I want a secession. When in reality, he actually did say, I want a secession. Have the red states divorce the blue states. He literally said that. You be the judge. With that being said, hit the like button. Hit the bell for notifications. With that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.